think the first Trump election was the first of its kind for me as an adult and as a queer person. And I felt so betrayed because I know who my family votes for. And I think the only thing that has allowed me to survive without crying every time I think about my family is knowing that in their world, it does not mean that. I have to realize that we're speaking completely different languages in order to salvage any bit of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Because if I was waiting on them to change and waiting for them to denounce all of these things that I'm so vehemently against, I would be waiting a long time and I would be full of bitterness mm -hmm. and rage. And I'm so privileged that despite that inconsistency in our lives and something that I wish I could take so personally and just argue until I'm blue in the face and they let me, they just don't change after. Right. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I am privileged that they love me no matter what we have to 